All right, guys, I am pissed off right now. I shouldn't even say guys because there is zero viewer for this channel. I have not made this channel yet. This is just, uh, this is going to be my rant alt trash channel. There's nothing good here. Nothing good to be seen. Skip over this right now. Uh, but I do have something that I'm kind of passionate about that I would like to maybe rant a little bit about. Uh, it's going to be about Creator Clash, which is the YouTuber boxing event. All the proceeds go to charity. Good stuff. It's ran by iDubs and Anissa. Uh, uh, they do a great job. I went to the first one. Look at this. Look, I want this event to succeed. I know nothing about event running, so don't listen to me. But look, I went here. I had a great time with friends. And then I heard the news. Uh, one of the fighters I was most excited to see, Froggy Fresh, was just kicked off. I saw this tweet. There has been a change in the lineup, and Froggy Fresh will no longer be fighting against Chris Raygun. We will announce his replacement in the coming days with just three weeks left. The countdown to Creator Clash 2 has begun. That is not much time. Three weeks left? It, it, that is a uh, quick change to make in the lineup. So, if you're wondering who any of these people are, because Froggy Fresh and Chris Raygun, they just sound like kids uh, you would lose to in Fortnite, and their username would pop up. This is Froggy Fresh. He used to be Krispy Kreme 10 years ago, but the real Krispy Kreme donut company, I think, sued him. So, he had to change his name to something else, and he chose Froggy Fresh. He came out with bangers like this 10 years ago. I am the baddest of them all. If you ain't about money, then I don't mess with y'all. Y'all think... So good. So good. Was so excited. Then when I saw this tweet, I had to look into it. Um, so it's this. It all starts here. This is this is where it all falls down. He makes a, a video uh, beefing with Chris Raygun, his uh, opponent. And this is the video he makes. There seems to be substantial evidence that Chris Raygun is now on Adderall. <laughs> Yo, young man. Amphetamines couldn't save Hitler, and they can't save you either. The Hitler, the Hitler comparison. I would like to say Chris Reagan maybe shouldn't be compared to Hitler, but that's okay. We are getting it. We're getting inside our opponent's head and tearing them down. That is boxing. On April fifteenth, if I don't hurt you beyond what anybody could have imagined, I will be so disappointed in myself that I will. Subscribe to Anissa's OnlyFans. <laughs> so that's what started all. Uh, Anissa has an OnlyFans. Um, I I have no problem with uh, that kind of stuff. A lot of people do. Um, I don't care. I don't really care what anybody does. Uh, but one person that did care was Anissa's mom. Uh, she started she started beefing with him on Twitter. Oh, I got even she said, "Classic case of brain damage." Better have that looked at along with your obviously shrunken balls. And hey, I'd like to be the first one to say shrunken balls, that's a normal thing. Uh, a lot of us have that. It's completely fine. Um, so the, the, the beef kind of spiraled from here. He, I think he's, he just kind of responded to Anissa's mom. Why is Anissa's mom on Twitter? Is, um, if, my, if my dementia-ridden parents were on Twitter just flaming people, I would ask them to get off. I shouldn't talk about my parents like that. They watch my stuff. They don't have any illness. I shouldn't have said that. But it's too late now. All right, so the beef continues. Uh, the, Anissa's mom called him an imp because he's short. So he said, better a imp than a pimp which I think was like a, a diss about her having an OnlyFans. And I, 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 su I support sex workers, stuff like that. Um, I don't have a problem with that. I feel like I should reiterate that. Um, and I'm still, I, I, I don't think he should have been kicked off for this because uh, I feel like this is maybe like a family affair that should have been sorted out. Like maybe, uh, yeah, he went too far. But man, I don't, well, I don't know what I would do if someone's mom was like saying, hey, like, Hey, you have no balls. You're an imp. I hate you. You know, I, I would I would probably respond. I mean, he does. He's kind of like a, a bit of a character. He's a southern boy, um, and he don't back down to no fight type of vibe I get from him. Um, and kicking him off for this, I understand that it's a charity event, and you want it to be very inclusive. Like they kept. Uh, I'll show you their tweet. They they wrote a tweet that said. 
that they want Creator Clash to be an inclusive and fun environment for creators and fans while giving back to charity. That has always been the mission, and Froggy Fresh's recent behavior does not align with that mission. Um, I feel like he didn't do anything, like, crazy. Uh, it, it's, it is fighting. People do get riled up. And yes, it, it's your event. Um, it, it is for charity. But this being on a three-week notice... Like, that's not, I feel like that's also not fair to Chris Raygun, as, you know, when you prepare for these events, you, you prepare for a specific person, and, I don't know, I'm, I'm not the, I'm not the one to be like, hey, just man up, um, but maybe we just, maybe we just take the OnlyFans comment on the chin, you know what I mean, and just kind of keep the, keep the show going. I'm not one to tell people what to do, I've never done anything, honestly, good in my life. So, I'm not going to tell you how to run your event. I don't mean to compare this to the UFC because they're, they're fighting for money and it's not like it's not a charity event. So, of course, it's going to be run differently and uh, it's like more a lot more hardcore of fighting. But one thing I have to give Dana White credit for is a lot of fighters that are in his company will talk shit about him, but he doesn't like he he's not going to kick them off for that. And I, I, like I said, it's a charity event. It's very, very, very different. But this one fighter, Paulo Costa, has quite literally done everything he could to get under Dana White's skin, and he, not, not pretty much nothing happened out of it. So this fighter, Paulo Costa, he's really funny. I'm a big fan of him. He photoshopped Dana White's face onto a guy that's accused of uh, grooming um, someone, and so he, that was a really bad thing to photoshop his face onto the guy who's the accused groomer and Dana White responds to him saying uh please 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 delete that will you please delete that and you know that it, so the, the show went on i feel like maybe an approach like that or just maybe handling it behind closed doors you know it gets really muddy when parents get involved i understand maybe there should have been like a call at home uh like paulo costa is always flaming the ufc as a company and Dana White. Like he's saying, like he has a before UFC, driving Lamborghinis, after UFC, driving this beat up piece of shit car. So like he's always trash talking them for like not paying him enough, stuff like that. This is even him like role playing him beating up Dana White in, in the true. UFC video game. I think he said it all. <laughs> it literally is. <laughs> So, like, I don't know. I, I feel like it, when fighting gets involved, like, uh, I, I feel like you also can't really expect uh, Froggy Fresh to be, like, the, the clean, innocent face that a lot of the other creators are. You know, he, he is a, a southern boy, and he is a bit of a character. I'm a big fan of watching fights. I, I'm too scared to fight for myself. And, uh, you know, I feel like I, I come across as a person with uh, a lot of brain damage, but I've never actually been, like, hit, hit in the head. You know what I mean? So I, don't, I feel like maybe it's not for me. I, I, that's just a cope because I'm too scared. But, you know, this lineup doesn't really get me super excited at this point. You know, this fight got canceled. This is canceled. Uh, I don't know who a lot of these people are. I'm really excited for Aaron Hansen. I'm a huge fan of him. But, like, even the last fight with Aaron, with Aaron Hansen, this is at the end of the video, so probably no one made it this far, but I have a couple of criticisms of uh, Creator Clash. I mean, they probably learned from this, but the first Aaron Hansen fight, I think Aaron did amazing. But there was a 60, I think there was, like, a 60-pound weight difference. Me drawing 60 really makes a difference there. But that's, that is such an insane, like, mismatch. And clearly, Harley won. I think Harley also did really, really good. I think both of them did amazing. But I don't think they, they should have been in the same weight class. I know boxing, anything over 205 pounds, they're, like, they're all just in the same weight class. But I feel like they could – there's some moves that are, seem a little bit obvious that maybe they could do a little bit better. I know that probably not that many content creators want to box. But I, I don't know. I just really love this event. I want it to succeed. Um, I wish they didn't do the thing they did. I feel like it wasn't that serious. Maybe your mom shouldn't have been on Twitter, uh, arguing with people. I hope if I see anyone at this event, they don't, I mean, no, no one's going to see this stupid video, so it doesn't matter. I could probably say anything I want on here, but, uh, yeah, that, that, let me know. Let me know if you want me to rant about more things. They'll become more clear and concise. I've never really had to, uh, make a clear opinion. Psst, goddamn phone is 
I'm getting a call from mainland China. Who the hell from China wants to get the... All right, I just got off the phone with China. It was actually um, the Creator Clash officials telling me to cut this off right now. Uh, so just let me know if you want me to continue this channel, I'm, and, I, and I might. Uh, I'm not that smart, so it's hard for me to make clear rants. So there might be a few cuts in this video. I'll, I'm sure I'll get better at it. Um, yeah. Again, no hate, no hate. I love this event, and I do. I like and respect the people who run it. And I respect everyone who boxes.